Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to teach you the four things that you need to know about Cruise Cash, Bar Cash, its benefits, and its pros and cons. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to determine whether or not you think that Bar Cash, Cruise Cash is right for you. Let's get into it. First thing, what is Cruise Cash? What is Bar Cash? In a nutshell, think of it as a gift card. Yes. But Cruise Cash is something that you pre-purchase. So you pre-purchase these things in the increments of $25, $50, $75, or $100. What you cannot do is get this confused with onboard credit. This is something that happens over and over again. Someone will book under a promotion that says, oh, I got $50 on board credit. Then they'll turn around and pay $50 for cruise cash. Right. And they're like, where's my additional $50? Because my onboard credit still says 50. It's not going to show there. That is money that you booked a promotion under these are funds that carnival has given you right what you have done if you've purchased funds to use once you get on board so you're not going to see those two things in the same section the next question that we always get is well what can i spend this on think of it as your own money because it is your own money, money. Yep. you have pre-purchased this amount of money you can spend it however you want to on board. For instance, you can go to the candy shop on Cherry on Top. You can also go to the gift shop, buy some souvenirs, shirts, whatever you want to do. You can pay for pictures. Yep. You can also go to the coffee shop. You can go to the bar. Like the, It's endless because right. it is like cash. Only exemption that they do have is that you cannot spend that money in any of the jewelry shops. And that's because they have, that's an actual vendor. And those vendors need to be paid a different way. All right, bar cash. Bar cash is very similar to the cruise cash. They work just alike. You can purchase them in the same increments of 25, 50, 75, and 100. Except for with the bar cash, you can only use that to buy drinks. So you can buy alcohol to drink, you can buy coffee, juices, water. You can go to the coffee shop and use it. You can use it in the dining room and also sofas. All right, the second thing that you need to know about bar cash and cruise cash is where can I buy them? So that's real simple. You can go on to carnival.com, uh -huh. go to the fun shop section and they can be purchased there or you can call 1-800-522-7645. Four, eight, which is the fun shops number and you can purchase them there just make sure that you have your booking number ready if you decide to give them a call number three what else should i know about this bar cash and this cruise cash yes we explained to you the increment it comes in we also explained to you how to purchase it now that you purchased it what else should i know let me explain the number one thing that i want you to understand cruise cash can be used to cover everything that my husband explained that bar cash can be used for, but it's not vice versa. Right. So if you buy bar cash, you pre-purchase it for a hundred dollars, you can't take your bar cash funds and go to the gift shop and buy souvenirs. But I can take my $100 cruise cash and I can go and spend a hundred dollars at the bar that is the major difference what else do you need to know about cruise cash and bar cash you need to know that they come with a limit on the amount that you can purchase which is five hundred dollars so what does that mean so you're able to purchase a five hundred dollar cruise cash mm -hmm. and you're able to purchase a five hundred dollar bar cash but that is the limit that you can purchase for each of them. You cannot go above that. So you can't be like, I want a thousand dollars in cruise cash and a thousand dollars in bar cash. And lastly, that limit is per stateroom. So what that means is me and my wife is in a cabin. We can only get up to $500 in bar cash and up to $500 in cruise cash, but she can purchase $500 cruise cash and I can purchase $500 in bar cash. What else you should know when it comes down to the bar cash, you have to be 21 
to purchase it. Although we're not going to touch on this in detail, just know that they also have a version of cruise cash that you use for your photos and they also have it for Build-A-Bear as well. Yes. Same increments, but if you want to know the details of it, please visit the fun shops on carnival.com. It'll tell you how, what you can purchase with those things. The fourth thing we wanna talk about is the pros, the cons, and then you're gonna be able to make a decision of whether or not you think it is right for you. The first thing is, it's going to keep you on budget, on task, because you've already allocated some, some money to spend in specific areas. Another pro would be if you're the type of person that you've been looking at the drink package and you be like, nah, I don't think the drink package is worth it for mm -hmm. me. I don't drink that much liquor or somebody that you're sailing with don't drink that much liquor. That's when the bar cash or the cruise cash can really come into play because you can use the cruise cash at the bar and use the bar cash at the bar. Another pro is if you're trying to stay within like drinking limits, and say, hey, I want to just drink $150 worth of alcohol this entire cruise. It's very good for that. Right. Hopefully you're not too drunk <laughs> and you just start buying it. Or, right. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's good for keeping you on task. If you have a goal to meet, you can do it that way. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and smash that like button so the algorithm can send this video to other first time cruisers Thanks. so they can learn about bar cash and cruise cash. All right, let's talk about cons. I think the con that we're going to speak of is going to blanket everything and yes. it would allow you to make the decision of whether or not you think that this is a good idea for you or not. The con is, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't use this, you lose this. Yes. This is for a, the specific voyage. You can't transfer it. You can't get a refund for it. You can't say, hey, I only spent $200 of my $500 cruise cash that I bought. Mm -hmm. Put it on my next sale. And it does not work like that. Whatever you don't spend, you will forfeit. Yes. Also, the other piece of the con is, personally, I would never buy bar cash. I would simply buy the more universal type of cruise cash, which is cruise cash. cash, so that I can just spend it at will how I want to. Right. Bar cash, you just are limited to beverages. Yeah. And I wouldn't do that personally. That is still a decision that you would have to make. Another con is, like we said, you just don't know what it is or how you're going to spend on board, especially if you are a first time cruiser. Right. Is that you could have in your mind that I'm going to spend 200 and some dollars. You get on board and realize that there were so many things included that you just didn't. Right. Money's gone. Gone. Pew, pew, pew. Now this is what we recommend as a first time cruiser, since you don't know how much you're going to spend on alcohol, or how much you're gonna spend in gift shops and things like that. We say if you wanna put yourself on budget, just add cash to your sign and sale card because it's the same thing. But you get that. But you back. get that back. So that way you don't have to risk any of your money as a first time or not knowing what you're gonna spend. To add to that, I know the question is coming. Well, how do I do that? You can only add cash in person on board. Yes. They have kiosks available and you can also go to guest services yes. to go ahead and fund your card. All right, now that you've been armed with this information, do you think that cruise cash, bar cash and or, or is for you? I want you to leave that down in the comments below. I am so interested in seeing if you now think that this is right for you. If you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video right here, 20 things you need to know as a first time carnival cruiser and we're gonna catch you in the next video peace, peace.